Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a face swap. In this case it's uh, Aladdin and a Princess Jasmine face swap. So you can see this is the final result. And if I uh, move this, you can see this is the original picture, Aladdin's face, Jasmine's face, and then I face swap them uh, to get Jasmine's face over here and Aladdin's face over here. So let's get started. Alright, I'm using uh, GIMP and I've loaded the image into GIMP and I have it over here and the first thing I want to do is to make uh, or duplicate this layer and I'm just going to edit this layer attributes and just call it the base uh, and then I can deselect this eye so it's the same picture I just like having this for reference later on so here we're gonna start with the base image and the first thing we want to do is to cut out the faces of the two uh, people and then move them to the opposite side so I'm going to use this free select tool and I'm going to zoom in pressing shift plus and so I'm going to take Aladdin's face first and I'm cutting pretty close to the eyebrows uh, because you don't need any of the skin resolution up above it in this particular case uh, but you might see that it varies from case to case okay so once you've selected the whole thing you can press Control c and then Control v and that'll paste it into a floating selection and i'm going to right click on here press to new layer and it makes a new layer and then i'm going to right click press edit layer attributes and call this face one now i'm going to go back to the base layer make sure you select back to the base layer and we're going to select jasmine's face now and here you don't need to worry about selecting her eyebrows and again this will change from case to case but um, in this particular case I found it worked without the eyebrow so I'm just selecting around her face and control C control V I'm gonna right click on here to new layer right click again edit layer attributes and we're gonna call this face 2 okay so now we have the faces uh, selected and they're on different layers and the next thing we can do is to uh, move them to the other side so I'm gonna press Control shift J which uh, makes the image fit the screen and then I'm going to press M which is stands for is the shortcut for the move tool and so I'm gonna take uh, Aladdin's face bring it over here and I'm gonna take Jasmine's face and bring it over here and now the next thing I want to do is since the faces are uh, facing the opposite direction I need to flip them so I'm going to just select this tool the flip tool and I'm going to click here flips Aladdin's face then I need to, to select the other layer click here and it flips Jasmine's face okay now the next thing I want to do here is to uh, change the color of the faces and the way that I'm going to do this is use the color picker tool so I'm going to use this tool here color picker color picker select it and you need to be on the base layer because it needs to be selecting their actual faces here so I'm going to change Aladdin's face to her face color so I'm going to select her face color here it's monotone so it's um, a mono color face so this is really easy so you select this color you can see it pops up over here and now I want to select uh, Aladdin's face and what I'm going to do is on this layer I'm going to use the fuzzy select tool click inside his face and then I'm going to shift click inside his eyelid right there just to pick that up as well and then what we can do is use this tool, the bucket fill tool, click it and click and you can see it changes to Jasmine's face color. And now I'm gonna press Control Shift A and we're gonna do the same for Jasmine's face to change it to Aladdin's face color. So I'm gonna go back to the base, use the color picker tool, click on his face, it changed colors here. Now we wanna go to this layer, use the fuzzy select, select her face and then use the bucket fill click and you can see it becomes a darker darker shade all right now one thing I'd like to do uh, before I start moving these faces around too much is I want to get rid of this extra stuff in front of their face so what I'm gonna do is create a layer mask for both of these uh, layers so I'm gonna right click on the layer and I'm gonna go to add layer mask and leave it at the default white full opacity for that one and then go to face 2 and do the same thing add layer mask add and now we have these two layer masks so I'm gonna shift plus in here and the way that you need to do this is uh, click on the on the actual layer mask and then select uh, back to black here and use this paintbrush tool and I use a full hardness paintbrush tool now um, instead of the fuzzy brush right here I use the full because of the fact that it's so that you want to get right up to the line here okay so you can change the size to whatever you want um, that makes this easiest for you but essentially you just paint over this here and I click off from time to time just so if I make a mistake it doesn't I don't have to like this I don't have to control Z too far back like that
Okay, now I'm going to select the other layer here, and I'm going to move over. So I was done with this one, and I'm going to move over here. And now I can do the same thing on Aladdin's face here. All right, now that we've gotten rid of all that junk in front of their face, we can start moving their faces to the right position. So I'm going to press uh, in here, I'm going to press M, and I will move, uh, not that. I don't want to move just the layer mask. I want to move the actual layer itself. And I'm going to move it over into the right position here. And then we can, again, I did the wrong thing here. We'll select here and move the whole face here. And you can see that they're scaled incorrectly. Her face is way too small for his head, and his head is way too small for her face. So uh, if we use a combination of rotations and scaling. So shift R for rotate, you can see like this rotating, and then shift T for scaling, then we can get the right shape uh, and size of the of the heads. And what will make this easier is if you're on this layer, you can set the opacity down a little bit to around 50 or 60%, and I'll do the same for the other one. And this will help with moving the uh, head around. So I'm gonna start with Jasmine's face over here. Press M, and you can see it's easy to align the eyes here, and you can see your face is still pointed up, so I'm going to shift R to rotate and rotate it down like that, press enter. And I wanna scale it, so I'm gonna do shift T, and I need to scale her face up to get it to be bigger. And I'm pressing, when I, when I scale here, I'm clicking on here and I'm pressing, I'm holding down control to keep the aspect ratio the same. Another way you can do that is to select this chain link, and if it's linked like that, it means it'll keep the aspect ratio the same. If it's unlinked, it'll do like that. So you can see when I press Control and move it, you can see that the link, uh, the chain links together. Okay, and I'll press Enter there. Press M to move it again, get the eyes to line up. Uh, maybe rotate a little bit more this way. And this is just about finesse, so I'm just gonna do this uh, a little bit and try to get everything to line up a little bit. So this is really just about doing this uh, quite a bit. And one of the things I'm trying to do is trying to get her, her jawline to line up with his jawline so it looks pretty seamless here. And actually this is not too bad right here. So even something like this. And you can fiddle with the opacity to see what it'll look like essentially. So this is actually not that crazy. Uh, and don't worry about the fact that the eyebrow is kind of half showing up here. We'll be able to fix that. So in this case I'll just leave this like that. I actually like that. Uh, and now I'm going to go to the other layer. Okay, and here, if we move this, I'm going to move it so the eye is straight on. I'm going to, going to rotate so that she's looking up more, and we need to scale this down like this. And we'll move this so that it's aligned again. Maybe scale a little bit more down and rotate a tiny bit more. Okay. And so something like this isn't too crazy either. Okay, and don't worry about the fact that you can see a little bit popping out here or again up here with the eyebrow because we'll be able to fix this and I'll show you in a second. But this is a pretty good first um, first kind of movement job here. And you can see that'll be essentially what the picture looks like when we're done. Okay, now I wanna make the faces look like they're actually parts of the, part of the body. So I'm gonna start with uh, Jasmine's face oops, over here on Aladdin's body. And I wanna get rid of this eyebrow and I wanna kinda of mesh this uh, whoops, face into his face. And so the way that I can do this is using the clone tool. So if I go over here and press the clone tool, I have the hard brush selected. And what you can do is start here in the middle of uh, her face and click, hold down control and click. And that means that we're gonna be cloning this part of the face. I just put it in the middle so that I can, you'll see when I start moving like this, 
you can see that this moves as well. So I'm going to go back to the base layer, and this is where I'm going to start cloning from. And I'm just cloning the same spot over and over again. If I start going up too far, you can see the cloned one. If I keep going up, you'll, you'll see it'll turn black in a second, and that's because I'm cloning her eye now. So you don't want to do that, which is why I click off like this. And there's different settings over here in the tool options, but for now this is fine. So I'm just uh, doing a little bit more here, and that looks good. And uh, everything else is pretty much fine on her face here. Okay, so I'm still cloning, and I can see that this line here is a little thick compared to the line up there. And so what I can do is I'm just going to clone on here, just make this line a little bit thinner, as you can see. So one last thing we could do on Jasmine's face here is you can see that the line color from her face and Aladdin's face are different, and we can use the clone tool here as well to make them the same. So I'm just going to zoom in really far, and one of the ways you can do this is... Um, I'm going to decrease the brush down. You can really use whatever size you want. And I'm going to control click here. And so now I'm going to just, okay, I need to be on the correct layer. I want to be on uh, Jasmine's face here. Control click here. Now I want to go back to the base layer. This is what gets confusing is keeping your layers consistent. And I'm just going to click up here along his facial line. And that should make the colors look all the same. And it looks pretty good right now. Okay, and that's another way that you can that you can uh, increase thickness of lines too. If you want to, if you look like uh, some of this line thinned out a little bit here, we can go in and uh, go on to the correct face, and we can control click, and then go back to the correct one, and you can kind of increase that line thickness there. Um, it also changes in here, it changes back to that dark brown from here. So you can mess with, around with this as much as you want, but for now this actually looks pretty good. Okay, now we wanna do the same thing for Aladdin's face on Jasmine. So we're gonna to go to select her face and I'm going to shift plus in, okay. And this one's a little bit, tiny bit trickier just cause we have to fill in a little bit up here and get this to go away um, just because of where we happen to place uh, his face. We can actually even move his face if I uh, press M move it a little bit down and back like this. This will actually make our life a little bit easier if I do something like this. Okay, so now we're on this layer. And again, we're gonna use the clone tool. Um, so I can use the clone tool here, click somewhere in the middle of his face. I'm gonna increase the size of this. Uh, yeah, about here. And I'm gonna get rid of uh, these features over here. And so the way to do this is to clone uh, out here, we need to be on the base layer in this case, because we want this color here. So if we were on the actual layer, you can see that it's transparent. Um, if you click off of this, if we select it on this layer, we would select it transparent. So if we started painting clone tool, it would do nothing. So you need to have the base layer selected, and I'll zoom in even more. So I'm going to select a point about right here, because the color doesn't change too much from here over to here. And then while we're still on the base layer, I'm going to use the clone tool and just paint away uh, Jasmine's lips that are in the background and get rid of some of this pixelated stuff. And let's see what else we need up here. Uh, control click over here, maybe clean up this a little bit. Not a big deal. And then come back down here and everything looks okay down here. Okay. And so now if we come back out, uh, now I want to do this top part here and kind of around the face here because you can see the jaw just intersects with her with her earrings. So one thing now we can do is to go back to uh, Aladdin's face and we're still using the clone tool um, and I'm going to fill in just the face here. The eyebrow we're going to leave as his and we're going to cover up her eyebrow with his face. So I'm going to click down here because it's all the same color so I'm going to control click down here and I want to be drawing on the base layer here. So if we start drawing in with the with the skin color, with Latin skin color, like this, then it looks pretty good. And we might need to switch layers. The whole thing here is about keeping your layers straight. And sometimes it's just tiring, but you can just do kind of trial and error stuff. So now I'm on the top layer. 
and it has to do with the opacity of and where you put your opacity on these layers. Okay, so that looks good right there. And now you can see that there's a, it kind of overlaps a little bit here. So what you can do is go to the base layer, bring down your size a little bit, control click here, and then you can get rid of some of this. And when I what I mean is to go to this layer, again, keeping your layers straight and getting rid of some of these pixels here. Okay, something like that. And if I go back to this layer here, this looks a little odd. Okay, so now you can see that the, uh, the line up there actually looks pretty good. There's a little portion up there that I might want to just take care of really quick. Yeah. So if we zoom in again, again, I'm going to go to the base layer here. Using the clone tool, just straighten that out. And this, I would say, looks pretty good right now. And you can see there's a little kink right there. And these are all little things you can play with. I'm going to go back onto this layer, select the head, and then kind of take away that kink there using the clone tool again. Okay, and if we zoom back out, you can see that it's pretty much, uh, pretty much gone. And so I've actually decided that I'm all done with all these little touch-ups around here with the clone tool. And you can see that this is the final uh, result, and it looks like the faces blend pretty well uh, together into the other person's body. And we got rid of all the stuff out here. We got uh, filled in this spot up here so that they didn't have uh, too many eyebrows. And um, and so this is what the final picture looks like, and you can export this as a as whatever type of file you want. I usually export as a PNG, and uh, so that's how you do a face swap of Disney characters uh, in GIMP. Thanks for watching.